Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up? This is Nikki Best I met my author. I know it's been a long time since I actually made a video, but um, had to actually, you know, sit down and do some projects away from, you know, videos. And um, I'm actually doing some crocheting, you know, crocheting and uh, clothing and tops, stuff for children as well as for adults as well. Um, I've actually been going through um, pretty much almost like a, almost a period of actually talking to other people, you know, whether they are actually uh, Nawapians or not Nawapians, who are really just, um, you know, kind of stressed and, you know, they take on a lot, take on too much, I know I do. Well, what you have to understand is this, is that you cannot take in not only distress, but you cannot allow yourself to actually be, you know, a subject for other beings to come inside of you, to take over your body, and you hear projecting thinking, you know, negative ideas, negative feelings, negative thoughts, you know, and then by the time that being leaves out of you, you want to know why you're in the predicament that you are in. So it is best if you keep that entity out of you. And how you do that, you exercise, how you do that, you pretty much, you know, you stay around people that actually are positive. At the same time, you know, for us the Wapians, we chant, you know, we go out and, you know, we live in the life of Runa Wapu, you know, bringing that around with, you know, where we're going talking to other people. Um, what you also can do is stop, you know, remember, your soul is almost like, you know, a recorder. And when you leave this physical body, you go into your spiritual body, your soul body. But it has the exact same, you know, the signature that you actually sign on a document. It has your signature in the spirit realm. So what you have to understand and realize is that whatever you're to do in here has your signature in the spirit realm. So, how strong you are spiritually with your soul, because that's what we have, by soul. And when you have that soul within you, make it strong by doing the things that you're supposed to be doing. Do things in an orderly fashion. Do things that, you know, you know request less time consuming and less energy, and you know, that way you don't have to feel stressed because anything that manifests into a, you know, type of energy, like a, a stressful energy, someone that's negative all the time, or their energy is low, for some reason, that being leaves them jump into your body, and then you ended up, you know, stressed for yourself, so pretty much you take on their stress, don't do that, because anytime that you actually continuously to think negative, talk negative, you know, pretty much you're putting people down, you know, when you say that, okay, I'm definitely tired of this, I am going to constantly, I'm going to start doing this right now, of flushing out my system, flushing out all that toxins, and eating right, and, you know, pretty much not going to be dealing with anybody that has that negative mentality. I'm going to delete their number, I don't want to see them again, and stuff like that. You'll have somebody in the background that will snicker, and be like, yeah, she's just talking mess. Yeah, she's just talking out of her neck. Yeah, she don't know what you're talking about. All the other, you know, smart comments that they have towards you, I have to make sure this is PG anyway. They will actually, you know, try to continue to get you to be side to side with them because you know misery, misery loves company. Let it go. Because every time that you constantly project that, you're actually still digging in, you're grinding that type of energy that, you know, that signature within your soul. And you carry it out with you. And those, I'm going to say for me, those that actually get into a predicament or, you know, that's it, you know, they just make that transition, sooner or later you're going to end up finding out that everything that, you know, someone was telling you was actually the truth. And Runa Waffle is the truth. You know, start cleaning out your body. Start cleaning out your thoughts. Do a fast with your mind. Meaning that, get away from all the distractions. Because that causes stress. And the stress can also happen, you know, in a physical way to the point where, you know, you get all that stress and the next thing you know, you feel like a numbness once in a while. It numbs your hand all the way up to your shoulder on your left side. That goes towards your heart. Okay? And not going, I am not putting that out there. And not going through that. 
show and it's too beautiful I don't care if it's cold or whatnot liven up your you know your house bring some bright happy vibrations within your house what you can do what actually helps me is if you burn frankincense and myrrh whether it's going to be the incense or whether it's going to be the oils or the rocks itself burn it because the thing is is that everything has a sense so when you actually you know are feeling down and miserable then you bring in all those down and miserable negative beings you know to yourself so you burn those type of things pretty much it brings in the positive energy the positive spirits the positive beings to yourself so what you should do is no more stress and the stress it seems to me that stress starts with family you know, when you try to go ahead and live your life right, but you got a sister or a brother that just want to go ahead and just ruin it for you, leave them alone. Don't tell them. Keep it by yourself because you know what? How you live, they're going to see how you function, how you live. All right, well, let me pay attention. If you don't pay attention, that's on them. All right? You got to do for you. Do the right things for yourself. But you know what? All of these these money that you is out here that you have to buy clothes, you have to buy shoes, you have to do this, you have to look a certain way, be a certain way, marry a certain way to be successful. At the end of the day, it's not going to make you successful. It's going to make you stupid, okay, it's going to make you dumbfounded, and at the same time, alright, it is not going to, you know, bring your soul up, because the thing is, what you do to your physical body is what you do to your spiritual body, because if you make this body weak, then your spiritual body is going to be weak. So your best bet is to find stressful things, you know, in your, you know, within yourself and your surroundings, and get them in the garbage can, throw them out, get all that energy out, okay? But I'll get you back on some more videos, so stay tuned. Hold up.